Well, obesity is a condition that affects one billion people approximately around the world. The problem is that obesity is a spectrum. Uh, from a clinical standpoint in particular, obesity means different things in different individuals. The classification of obesity that we have used for many decades now doesn't tell us if somebody is uh, having an illness here and now or is simply a risk for future illness. Until today, we were using classifications of obesity based on BMI that don't distinguish among those different situations and therefore they are not conducive to sound, good uh, clinical practice or policies. A classification is not a clinical diagnosis and a clinical diagnosis is necessary to make sound decisions in the clinics as well as at policy level. And this is what the Commission has tried to address. BMI is a sort of formula, a mathematical formula based on um, weight and height. Uh, as you can see, there is no information in, in that number, in that formula, about whether or not the excess weight comes from excess fat tissue or maybe increased lean mass like bone mass or, or muscle mass. But more importantly, the BMI doesn't tell you whether your heart, your liver, your kidneys, your lungs are working as they should or not. So BMI, again, is not a clinical information, uh, doesn't give us clinical information and cannot be used for clinical diagnosis. Well, the conception of the Commission um, probably uh, was around 2019, uh, early 2020, uh, and that was because of the um, realization uh, that uh, I had that obviously uh, people with obesity are facing all sorts of obstacles because of uh, uh, problems accessing care or even all the way to uh, weight stigma. And I thought that much of these problems stem from the fact that we don't have a clear definition of obesity, a clear um, classification uh, from a clinical standpoint, something that is clinically relevant. The Commission in involves 58 experts uh, representing different medical specialties and also um, people with lived experience of obesity to understand perspective uh, of patients and people who live with obesity. Uh, the conclusions that we achieved were endorsed by 76 uh, organizations, including scientific societies, professional organizations, and patients advocacy groups. Clinical obesity is a disease, it's a chronic systemic disease uh, that can affect one or more organs uh, due to obesity alone, to the effect of obesity alone, independent on other diseases that could be also associated with obesity. When people have clinical obesity, they also may have impairment in the, the way they run their daily activities, which is also a significant impact of obesity on the health of the individual. When people have clinical obesity, and we establish 18 specific criteria for its diagnosis, uh, they have, should be considered as having a chronic disease and therefore they should have access to comprehensive care uh, and in a time-sensitive fashion. Preclinical obesity uh, is a state characterized by excess body fat, but with preserved function, normal function of organs that could otherwise be affected by obesity. So people with preclinical obesity certainly have a higher risk, a broad and higher than uh, average risk of developing diabetes or other chronic diseases associated with obesity, but they still maintain a pretty substantially preserved um, health at the level of all their organs and they are still able to conduct normal daily activities. Obesity is nuanced. Uh, it doesn't have the same implications in every individual who has it. It could mean uh, a disease state, it could also just be a risk factor and could be also caused by different uh, causes and, and factors. The proposal that we made with this commission recognized that nuance. It allows to recognize when obesity is already a disease, in it by itself, uh, but also it recognized that some people can live with obesity, people can live in larger bodies, with uh, preserved, substantially preserved health, even for long term. If this is the reality, we have to have a clinical diagnosis, an um, identity of obesity that reflects that nuance. Uh, and that's exactly what this commission has done.